Welcome to Talk of the Town. I'm your host, Carrie Dillon. We are joined by one of my favorite people, fiercely peaceful warrior here, <laughs> Sheila Romling. You're joining us from Fresh Start Healing Heart. And we are talking about, it. this month is Human Trafficking Awareness Month. Yes, ma'am. And so we're talking about something that, you know, that, that a lot of blind eyes are, are turned toward this. And I just love that you have ripped open mm -hmm. that subject matter and shined light on something that is so prevalent Mm -hmm. so incredibly prevalent and mm -hmm. hidden in so many ways. So talk, tell us a little bit about Fresh Start Healing Heart and exactly what you all do, Miss Sheila. Well, Fresh Start Healing Heart is an anti-human trafficking organization that works here in the Low Country, um, not only to bring awareness to the community, um, but also our big main focus is, is that we work with the survivors during the restoration and healing process. That's, I mean, one wouldn't really, this is a vacation town and this is, you know, I don't want to say rainbows and unicorns, but this is a very picturesque kind of lovely place and it, it's in our backyard here. Yes, it is. Um, unfortunately, when you have a community of tourism or major ports, which were situated right between two of oh, them, yeah. and you have corridor highways, uh, military or war where that is, um, you just tend to have a lot more solicitation of um, human trafficking for yeah. commercial sex or even labor. For labor, mm -hmm. yeah. So the the trafficking, I love that, that you're tying that parallel together because I've never really seen those two together and it's so obvious mm -hmm. you know, when you say it. It's like, oh yeah, it, it seems so obvious. Um, but So they can be, human trafficking can be uh, humans exploited for labor, mm -hmm. but I also want to draw the parallel between human trafficking and the word sex worker. Yes. You know, because it's, it's it's sometimes human trafficking, you don't always associate that anybody who's considered a sex worker is, is being trafficked. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, when it comes down to, um, you know, sex worker has been going on for a long, long, long time. Forever. Um, but really, majority of it is human trafficking, yeah. and a lot of the times they don't self-identify, so they don't realize that they're being a victim. Instead, they're in guilt and shame of what they're doing. Absolutely. And so they believe that you know they put themselves there, they chose to be there, when really there's probably some coercion there, there's some fraud sure. there, there's some force there. And, and that brings them into the realm of human trafficking then, and that's what we work with. Yeah, the, the synonymous with manipulation. Yes. You know, yes. and, and I, I think that everyone in that situation has asked, how did I get here? Yes. You know, and what you, we were talking about a little bit before, before the show is, uh, was the value. Mm, you know, mm -hmm. not, not recognizing the value that human beings are considered currency. Yes, in, in this that situation. industry. Yes, just just faceless name, and this is somebody's daughter. This is somebody's it's, son. Yes, this is somebody's. No this, matter what age. Yeah, no matter what age. Mm -hmm. No matter what age. And sometimes we we sometimes think sex workers as women, but it's not just women. The majority of the of the calls in are women, yeah. but there are boys. Yeah. There are young men that mm -hmm. um, you know they're trying to just survive out on the street and under 18 trying to survive out on the street selling yourself for any mm -hmm. sex act whatsoever is human trafficking. Yeah, and so the, the other side of it is that human trafficking wouldn't exist if there wasn't a market for it. If there wasn't someone purchasing. Yeah. Yes, and the, you know, the biggest market that actually fuels human trafficking is pornography. Oh, absolutely, mm -hmm. absolutely. And I mean, it's the, the, the spam that comes in mm -hmm. alone. Oh, yes. It's unbelievable. It's just absolutely everywhere. Just the mm -hmm. recruitment for it, I mean, it's absolutely everywhere. So, um, the tricking of teenagers for it yeah. is huge. And that's what a lot of people don't realize. If you're, you know, there was an FBI agent that had made a comment to um, an another person in the industry that yeah. works like I do. And um, he had said to her that, do you know if your child has a phone? it's a 100% chance that they've already been approached in some form. Absolutely, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And I think that there's also this protection about we, these things that we that are seemingly innocent mm -hmm. postings of our children and our family. Right. I mean, it's... And it leads. Yeah. It's a big lead. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. And one that's like, oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to check this one out or keep an eye on this one for later. It is predatorial. Yes. It is absolutely predatorial. So how can we get involved? What can we do as a community? Well, as a community, um, you get involved with Fresh Start Healing Heart. Yeah. Um, we are really in need of volunteers currently, um, people to be mentors to the survivors, um, volunteers that want to go out and help put up the mandated posters in the area, or even to get out Fresh Start literature, because with the Fresh Start literature we have in there signs to look for. Um, we need people to help with our social media, yeah. and uh, we, we, we have tons of areas to plug you in. This resonates, This this I know this resonates with folks. So 
Fresh Start Healing Heart, res if this resonates with you, take a look at their website, see how you can get involved in some quiet way, some loud way. Mm, but I just, mm -hmm. I just absolutely adore you. Thank you for doing oh, what you're doing, Ms. You. Sheila. We'll be right back with more Talk of the Town.